Hey, it's Jessica Pearson from BeSkinnyByTomorrow.com. No, I did not cut my hair. No, I did not dye my hair. Um, it is a wig. Yes, uh, it's a wig and it's awesome. Um, if you did not know, I wear a lot of wigs. I love them. I just did a video on this wig. Uh, it's on this channel if you want to go check it out. Go look for it. I don't know what to tell you. But um, anyway, so that's that. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, some do's and don'ts for new distributors. Um, really important to <laughs> go into this business, especially as a new distributor, um, doing the right stuff, right? So this, some of this stuff is like common sense stuff, but other stuff is kind of learning as you go. So better to just know it right away, right? So the first thing um, that I think is probably one of the most important things is um, a do, do grow your network. Um, so important, so, so important. You are in network marketing, okay? And it's network marketing, it's called relationship marketing is another term for it. Um, but network marketing, guess what? You need a network. And if you don't have a network, you need to grow your network. Um, and if you're not willing to grow your network, then you should not be doing what you're doing. Um, so if you are willing to do it, then listen up. Um, growing your network, right? Social media, the easiest way to grow your network ever. You're on social networks. That is what it is, okay? Um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you know, things like that. Grow your network. Um, I have people that tell me that'll sign up and they'll tell me, oh my God, I talked to all my friends. I talked to all my friends and nobody wants to buy a wrap. Nobody wants to do anything. Like, I don't think I'm cut out for this. Hi, get some new friends. What the hell is wrong with you? Get some new friends. Go and grow your network, right? Like, hello. So when people tell me that all the time, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Um, because it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, those are the only people you know in this world. I'm pretty sure there's there's quite a few people, quite a few people in this world. Um, and uh, you can start becoming friends with them. Because the thing that people forget is that social media at the end of the day is still social, okay? So if you are on social media and you are not growing your network and you have like 50 to 100 friends, you're not going to be successful doing this business on social media. You have to know that, okay? You have to know that from day one. My God, this hair is so poofy, you guys. It's hilarious. I can't even look at myself right now. I feel like a clown. Um, you have to know that. If you are on social media, you need to have, okay? They give you a 5,000 limit friend cap for a reason, all right? Get up to 5,000. Get Do whatever you need to do to get up to 5,000, but get up there. Because the more people in your network, the more people are gonna see what you're doing, the more people are gonna care about what you're talking about, um, and the more people that you can be, most importantly, social with. Because again, like I said, at the end of the day, social media is social. It is not meant for your business. It is not meant you know, for anything else other than catching up with old friends or making new ones, right? That was the whole point of Facebook. So now it's turned into this big thing with businesses and you know, work from home stuff, and everybody uses it mostly, if they're smart, for business um, so be smart and use it for business but don't forget that it is social above everything else and you cannot be on social media and not be social because you're just you're literally just you're not you're not doing what you should be doing um, so I just lost my train of thought um, another thing okay a don't don't be annoying um, I mean, I pr it's pretty much self-explanatory, but I will go ahead and explain anyway. Don't be annoying. Don't be that person that just signs up as a, as a new distributor with It Works and all of a sudden they're hitting up friends of theirs that they haven't talked to in years just to ask them to buy shit from them. You don't do that because you know what happens? You end up losing those people as followers and friends because um, nobody wants that, right? You always have to think about um, put yourself in your potential customer or potential distributor shoes, right? This is human psychology and I say this in every one of my videos for it work stuff because it really it all boils down to it Put yourself in their shoes. Okay, and realize that how would you feel if you didn't hear from somebody for two years and then all of a sudden they come out of nowhere and instead of even asking you how you are, um, or they even worse, they ask you how you are and then the next sentence is about a product that they want you to buy, what, what, what do you do? One, you more than likely don't buy it and two, you probably unfriend them or block them or just ignore them for the rest of however long because it's a turnoff right? It is a turnoff. You have to work with people. You have to be friendly with people. If you're not a friendly person, you need a new job. 
you're not going to do good in this. You have to be friendly. And again, you have to be social. Um, so don't be that annoying friend where, again, you reach out to people that you haven't reached out to in years or even months for that matter. And the first thing you say to them is, hey, look, I'm doing this new thing. Oh, my God, I think you would love this product. Well, how do you know what they would love if you haven't talked to them in a year? Right? Because if somebody came at me like that, which they have, um, that would be the first thing in my mind. Like, how do you know what the hell I love? You haven't talked to me in how long? And now the only reason you're talking to me is because you want my money. Right? That's what you have to do. That's what I mean when I say that this business is all about human psychology because you have to put yourself in somebody else's shoes when you're trying to sell a product or trying to be relatable to another person in order to sell a product. You cannot be relatable to somebody that you haven't had contact with in over a year or even over six months or however long if you are not deliberately building that relationship. You have to be deliberate and intentional with what you do in life, but especially in this business. Um, Another do, okay? This goes back to the first thing I said. Do be social. It is social media. Um, you have to grow your network. You have to be social. Um, don't, I don't, don't turn into it works 24-7 on your wall. And I'm sure you may have seen those people where they sign up for it works and then all of a sudden they are not who they were, right? Say I am Jessica, okay? Because I am Jessica. But let's just say for this example... Jessica, okay, you've been following me, um, I don't know, for like eight or nine months. You love what I have to post. You love my posts about my dog. You like my travels. You like the cute little things that I post about my husband. You like all those things, right? And then all of a sudden, I sign up for a business, okay? It's a work from home business that most people have probably heard of by now. And all of a sudden, there's green, black, and bling graphics all down my wall on Facebook. And where's Jessica? Where did she go? right? Where did she go? I'm gone. All of a sudden I'm, it works 24 seven and it's a huge turnoff. Whether you're doing it works, unique, LuLaRoe, it doesn't matter, right? If you are forgetting that people signed up to follow you because they like you, not your business, they like you, then again, you're not going to be successful. So uh, go, going back to human psychology, remember, okay, that it is, I know I talk with my hands all the time, sorry. Remember that it is all about um, being social, okay, and putting yourself in the audience's shoes, right? Your friends on your newsfeed right now, if you go as a brand new distributor and all you talk about is it works, it works, it works 24-7, they're going to start unfollowing you because that is a thing with Facebook now, right? Like you can unfollow people. They'll never know. So you won't, you'll be getting what you maybe have like 500 people on your friends list and you're making posts about it works 24 seven and you're getting two likes. You want to know why? Because the other 498 people probably unfollowed you. They're still your friend. You could still see that you're friends, but they don't give a crap about what you're writing anymore because you are all about it works. And that's what you cannot be. You have to make your news feed, okay, on your Facebook, your Instagram, wherever. You have to make your wall and your profile the story of your life, okay? Somebody once said to me, make it about the movie of your life and have it works stuff be your commercials. That's how you have to look at it. It cannot be the movie of your life as it works and your life as commercials or your life is not even in there. It can't be that way because people will seriously uh, start unfollowing you, unfriending you. Some people might even tell you like they're annoyed as hell with you. Don't be that annoying person. Um, just again, make sure that you incorporate it works into your posts, but make sure they are not all it works. And also while we're on that topic, stay away from the graphics because they suck. They suck. Like everybody has seen them. Be original. Everybody has seen them. If you go onto my profile, okay, you will not see what a majority, um, what the majority of posts that you normally see about it works because I make my own stuff. I'm unique. I come up with my own stuff because I don't care about myself seeing the same stuff over and over. I sure as hell don't want my audience to see the same It Works post that they've probably seen 10 times prior in that same day from 10 other distributors. So I use my own stuff. Make your own stuff. That is how you're going to stand out. You got to do it that way. Otherwise, you're just going to be yet another distributor. And if you want to be successful and stand out, you have to be unique. So be unique. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, do, do, be a product of the product you you have to understand how important this is. Being a product of the product when you're selling a product like this is 
Like, I mean, it is crucial to your success. I know people that were little string beans and so they weren't, you know, in need of the wraps, for example, um, but they used other products in the product line because guess what? We have other products, right? And they're amazing. Um, they used other products in the product line. So, you know, they still were a product of one of the products, if not a few of them, not just not the wraps. And you don't have to be a product of the wraps, but you gotta be a product of something. If you're going to be doing this business, okay? Would you go to a personal trainer, right? To try and lose weight and see that they are, you know, Oh, completely overweight, completely unhealthy looking? No. The first thing you're going to say is, well, how come the stuff that you're trying to train me to do has not worked on you, right? Because when you go somewhere and you're listening to somebody tell you, buy this, try this, I love this, and they don't look like they love, have tried, or have used that product, you're not going to buy anything from them. You're not going to want anything to do with them. You don't trust them. You have to be trustable, right? They, people have to trust you and you cannot be in this business and not be a product of one of the products. If you can be a product of the wraps, awesome. Do it because they're the best product ever. I love them. But if you could be a product of any of the other products, please do it because otherwise, again, you're just somebody just talking. You're not somebody that someone can relate to, right? The first thing that people ask me if they haven't seen my results which most people have, but if they haven't seen my results, the first thing that people ask me when I talk to them about the wraps is, well, have you tried them? Where are your photos? Can I see your photos? Can I see your results? How would you feel if somebody asked you that, which they may have, and you were like, oh, you know, I, I, I'm still using them. I haven't, whatever. Why? Why are you still using them? Why haven't you used them? Why aren't you excited, okay? Excited and passionate about what you're selling because that would be my response. That would be my reaction to talking to you if you are one of those people that has not used the product on themselves. You might be pregnant, right? You might be breastfeeding. You might not be able to use the wraps. That's fine. There's greens. There's face wraps. There's um, lip and eye cream. There's a skincare line. There's no excuse is basically what I'm saying. There is no excuse for you to be selling this these products and be in this business and not have tried one of the products, if not all of them, and not have shown people your results or talked about them. Because that is the number one thing with this. When people ask me all the time, oh, how are you so, so successful? One, I'm myself. I'm, I, again, I, I do not do what everybody else does. Um, but two, and most importantly, I am a product of the product. I am a product of numerous products at this point. And I show my results to people every day every day for the last four and a half years. That's all I've done, right? I, I mean, on top of other stuff, but that's what I do. I make sure people know that if they're gonna try and, if they're gonna be interested in this product, right? And I want them to buy it from me. I want them to know that the person they're buying it from not only has used the product herself, but has amazing results and has no problem showing those results to that potential customer. I want them to know that they can trust what I have to say about the product because I have my own results from the product. I don't just say, here, have you tried that crazy rap thing? Because I sure as hell haven't. No, you don't do that. You can't, you cannot be in this type of industry and in this type of business where you are selling a product that gives visible results and you have not used it yourself, right? And so that's, that's a big, big do in this list. Okay. Do be a product of the product. Um, I know I ramble on and on, but I get super crazy passionate about things when I start getting, getting into the topic and I get really loud and crazy. I apologize. Um, I don't really apologize, but if you're not used to my videos, then I apologize. But anyway, um, so yeah, so that's, that's basically what you guys need to do. Um, as a new distributor with it works the most important things to start off with. Um, do grow your network. Do um, be social. Do be a product of the product. Don't be annoying. Don't be that 24 seven at works distributor. Um, you know, don't, don't be a salesman. Don't be a kiosk like Dan always used to say. Um, and if you don't know what that is, I say it in a lot of my videos as well. Don't be a kiosk. Don't be, when you walk through the mall and you see those people at the kiosks, right? Where do you go? Do you go over to them? You probably don't unless you're also equally crazy, you probably don't because they're annoying because all they care about is saying, oh, let me see. oh, have you tried this hair straightener? Oh, lady, your hair is so beautiful. Get out of my face. 
you don't care about my hair, you just care about my money, right? That's what you have to remember. People will pick up on that. If you can pick up on that, when you go to the mall and you walk by a kiosk, everyone else can pick up on it too, whether you're selling a hair straightener in a kiosk or an It Works wrap on your social media. People can pick up on that. People can pick up on your intentions, okay? So you have to remember that your intentions need to be genuine. And if they're not genuine, then you're only gonna get so far in this business and probably crash and burn. Because for me, my something I take a lot of pride in, um, even after four and a half years of this business, something I take extreme amount of pride in is the fact that I, if somebody is trying to buy something from me, I make sure that they're comfortable with me first before they even buy the product. I make sure that they know that they will get my help. I make sure that they know that, you know, just because I sell 20 different things doesn't mean they have to buy 20 different things because I'm not out for their wallet. I'm out to get good reviews and testimonials so I can get more people buying these products. That's how you have to look at it. That's what that's how I go into it and that's honestly I've been extremely successful with this. So I'm telling you this is how you got to do it. Like you cannot be um, you know, that walking kiosk. You just can't. You have to remember that that people are not just, you know, wallets. They're not just, you know, bulking up your paycheck. They are, does it help? Sure, that's what you're in the business and you're in the business to make money and help people. But don't forget about helping people. And don't forget that they are, you know, actual human beings just like you. You certainly don't want to get sold to. So I can guarantee you that no one else does either. Um, so again, if you go into it that way, you'll be good as gold. So those are some do's and don'ts uh, as a new distributor. And um, if you don't take my advice, awesome. But if you do, um, let me know how it goes for you. Because I love when people tell me that my advice worked because I like hearing it. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day.